Welcome YouTubers. Scratch building, weathering, construction and operations. I'm your host, Harry English. Like subscribe and comment now. For this project, thin wire, KD cupellas, and wheel weights will be needed. Any thin wire will do for simulating brake lines and train connection hoses. Wheel weights are perfect for adding heft to rail cars, and can be found free at tire centers and repair shops. For a more realistic look, clip off the KD coupler drip pin. This is a standard HO scale box car from Intermountain. It's very basic but can easily be modified to look more real. Use these techniques with any manufacturer. Begin by separating the body and the frame. Remove the screws holding the trucks in place and detach the frame from the floor. This model has a metal weight as the floor, and if intended to have the car doors open, use a sharp point to scribe lines in the metal finish, to simulate wood flooring. Mix up a heavy wash of raw, or burnt umber and thoroughly cover the floor and sides. Use the wash on the interior of the car, covering the walls, and the backs of the doors. Pay close attention to the door openings, where heavy use can really take its toll. Dark brown can be touched onto posts and openings, to simulate rust growth. Moving along to the trucks and frame, mix up greys and browns to your desired prototype. In this dry desert area, light colored sand and dust coat the undersides of most rail cars. Reattach the trucks, and give the floor and frame and good chalk coating. The interior also gets dusty so be sure to concentrate on those key areas. Prepare some thin pieces of plastic for the brake gear, and the cut lever brackets. A dress shirt collar stay is perfect for this. Thin brass wire can be bent to the shape of a trombone style lever, or a staple can be straightened for a single bar. Glue these with adhesive to the body, and the coupler pocket. For the brake rigging and lines, form the wires, then clip them to the desired length. Attach these to the reservoir, cylinder, and brake valve, with adhesive. After the glue sets. Coat the underside with grime. Be sure to give the wheels a coat of paint as well. To speed drying, a hair dryer, used on its slow setting, can dry paint in mere seconds. Gently dust with a light colored chalk mixture. Once the wheel sets are installed, paint the axles dark gray, to simulate grease. With the frame complete, we can glue on the wheel weights and paint them black. Since the doors will be open on this model, the weights will be placed at the ends. Super glue gel secured the weights, and the body was then reattached. A heavy wash of raw umber was used to dirty up the roof. 
On the sides, a light wash of gray. A black wash for the panel lines, around the posts and doors, and other areas that attract grime. This 12 color chalk set was purchased at Michael's. Scrape of a bit of color, or three, and give it a quick mix. Use around areas where dust kicks up. Also, use the chalk mixture on the roof, to represent uneven fading. Thank you for watching. Please, like, subscribe, and comment now.